Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. It's all in your head. You know, I've been thinking a lot about our conversation the other day. What conversation? The one where you said I was overreacting about the project deadline. You know, it's all in your head. Oh, that one. Well, I just meant that sometimes we tend to stress ourselves out more than we need to. The deadline isn't that tight, really. I get it, but I can't help but feel the pressure. It's like there's this constant voice in my head telling me I'm not doing enough. I understand. But maybe that voice in your head is being overly critical. You're doing great, and you've made substantial progress already. I appreciate your support. It's just hard to silence that inner critic sometimes. We all have that voice, but we can learn to manage it. Maybe try some relaxation techniques or talk to a mentor for guidance. Yeah, you're right. I should work on that. Thanks for being patient with me. Of course, we all have our moments. Remember, it's all in your head, and you can control it. It's a tough pill to swallow. So, I heard the company is going through a massive reorganization. How are you feeling about it? Honestly, it's a tough pill to swallow. I've been with this team for years, and now everything's changing. I can imagine how unsettling that must be. Change is never easy. Yeah, it's not just the change, but the uncertainty that comes with it. I'm not sure where I'll fit in the new structure. Have you talked to your manager about your concerns? I plan to, but it's still a bit nerve-wracking. I've built a routine around my current role. It's understandable. But sometimes, these changes can lead to new opportunities you haven't considered. Keep an open mind. You're right. I'll try to see it as a chance for growth, even though it's hard right now. Change often is. It's a tough adjustment, but it's also a chance to learn and adapt. Thanks for the encouragement. I guess I'll start by having that conversation with my manager and take it from there. That's a great first step. You've got the skills and experience to handle this transition. You'll find your place in the new setup. Please be quiet for a second. Please be quiet for a second. What's on your mind? I've been thinking about our upcoming project presentation. It's crucial, and I feel we could improve our approach. I've had a few ideas myself. What do you think needs tweaking? Well, I believe our introduction could be more engaging. Maybe we could start with a relatable anecdote to grab the audience's attention. That's a great suggestion. I've got a story in mind that could work perfectly. Excellent. And during the presentation, Let's remember to maintain a steady pace. We don't want to rush through the important details. Agreed. Speaking of details, we should also ensure our data is presented in a clear and visually appealing manner. Absolutely. Visual aids can make a significant difference. Lastly, 
Let's allocate some time for questions at the end to engage the audience further. Good call. We want them to feel involved. So, should we meet later to refine our presentation together? That sounds like a plan. Thanks for your input. With these improvements, I'm confident we'll make a lasting impression. My pleasure. Let's make it a memorable presentation. It's a learning experience. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame, cause I came. You know, this whole project has been quite a challenge. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I get it, it can be tough. But look at it this way it's a learning experience. Learning experience? It feels more like a never ending cycle of mistakes and setbacks. Trust me, I've been there too. Every obstacle you face, every mistake you make, they're all part of the learning process. It's how we grow and improve. I guess you're right. I just wish it was a bit smoother. Smooth paths rarely lead to significant growth. It's the bumps and hurdles that make us stronger and more skilled. When you look back on this, you'll see how much you've learned. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's just hard to see the silver lining sometimes. Absolutely, but remember, you're not alone in this. You can always reach out for help and advice. We're all in this together. Thanks for the pep talk. I needed that reminder that it's a learning experience. I'll keep pushing forward. That's the spirit. Keep your head up. And don't forget that every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow and improve. And I lose track of time. Yeah, move fast and climb. Cleaning service. I feel overwhelmed with all the clutter in my room. It desperately needs cleaning, but I just don't have the time or energy. Why don't you consider hiring a room cleaning service? They can take care of all the tidying up for you. I've thought about it, but I'm not sure if I can trust someone else to clean my personal space. I understand your concern, but these services often have trained professionals who respect your privacy and handle everything with care. That's reassuring. But what about the cost? I'm worried it might be too expensive. It's worth looking into. Some services offer flexible options, like one-time cleanings or regular visits at affordable rates. Hmm, that sounds reasonable. I guess I should give it a try. Do you know any reliable room cleaning services? Yes, I've used one before and had a great experience. Let me share their information with you. Thank you. I really need to declutter and organize my room. Having a room cleaning service could be a game changer for me. You're welcome. Trust me, it'll make a huge difference in how you feel about your space. Enjoy the clean and tidy room. Appliances Maintenance Hey, have you been keeping up with the maintenance of your appliances? To be honest, I haven't really thought about it. Should I be doing something specific? Absolutely. Regular maintenance can extend the lifespan of your appliances and keep them running efficiently. For example, cleaning the filters in your air conditioner and a scaling your coffee maker can make a big difference. I didn't know that. I've noticed my coffee maker isn't working as well as it used to. That's a clear sign it needs maintenance. Also, don't forget to check the seals on your refrigerator and clean the lint trap in your dryer regularly. Thanks for the tips. Do you have any recommendations for a reliable appliance maintenance service? I've used one in the past that did a great job. They offer annual maintenance packages for various appliances, so you don't have to worry about remembering when it's due. 
That sounds convenient. Could you share their contact information with me? Sure thing. I'll send it to you right away. Taking care of your appliances now will save you headaches and money in the long run. I appreciate your help. It's time for me to start taking better care of my appliances. Thanks again. You're welcome. Happy to help. Your appliances will thank you too. Facilities maintenance. Hey, have you noticed that the facilities around here aren't as well maintained as they used to be? Yes, I've noticed that too. It seems like some areas are starting to show signs of wear and tear. I think it's time to address this issue and improve the facility's maintenance. Agreed. We should bring this up with the building management or the facilities team. I'll draft an email outlining the areas that need attention and suggest a regular maintenance schedule. That's a good idea. And we could also encourage other residents to support the initiative. Great. The more people on board, the higher the chances of getting the facilities back to their former condition. We could even propose a community-driven maintenance day where we all come together to help with small repairs and improvements. I love that idea. It will foster a sense of community and pride in our living spaces. Let's get started then. I'm sure everyone will appreciate the efforts to enhance our facilities. Absolutely. It's time to make a positive change. Together, we can maintain and improve our living environment for the better. Medical Service I've been feeling unwell for the past few days, and I'm getting a bit concerned about my health. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe it's time to seek medical attention and get checked out by a professional. You're right. I've been trying to wait it out, but it's not getting any better. Don't delay any further. It's essential to prioritize your health. Why not schedule an appointment with a doctor or visit a nearby medical clinic? I guess I'm just a bit nervous about what they might find. It's natural to feel that way, but remember that early detection and treatment can make a significant difference. It's better to know and address any health concerns. You're right. I'll call and book an appointment today. Thanks for encouraging me to take care of myself. Of course. I'm glad you're taking this step. If you need any support or someone to accompany you, I'm here for you. Thank you. That means a lot. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Please do. Your health is important, and I want to see you feeling better soon. Take care. Repairing Cars Hey! Have you ever had your car repaired at this shop before? Yeah, a few times actually. They always do a good job. That's good to hear. I need to get my brakes fixed and I was looking for a reliable place. Oh, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to brakes. I had mine fixed here a while back and they haven't given me any trouble since. That's reassuring. How much did it cost you? It wasn't too bad. Actually, I think it was around $500 for parts and labor. All right, that's not too bad. Do you think I should ask for an estimate before they start the repairs? Yeah, definitely. That way you know what you're getting into, and you can compare it to other shops if you need to. Good idea. I'll make sure to ask for an estimate before they start working on my car. 
later after the repairs have been made. Thanks for the recommendation. My brakes feel so much better now. No problem. Glad I could help. Did they give you a warranty on the work they did? Yeah, they gave me a six-month warranty on the parts and labor. That's great. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's good to have just in case. Definitely. Thanks again for your help. Miss Delivery Hey, did you receive a package today? I think there might have been a missed delivery. No, I didn't receive any package. What's going on? Well, I was expecting a delivery, but when I checked the tracking, it shows that it was delivered to my address, but I haven't received anything. That's strange. Maybe there was a mix-up. Have you tried contacting the delivery company? Yes, I called them and they said they would look into it. They're going to check with the driver -er and see what happened. Hopefully, they can figure it out and locate your package. It's frustrating when something like this happens. I agree. I was really looking forward to receiving that package. I hope they can resolve it quickly. I'm sure they'll do their best to track it down and make things right. Just keep in touch with them and let them know if there are any updates or changes. Definitely, I'll stay on top of it. Thanks for your support. I hope this misdelivery gets resolved soon. You're welcome. I hope so too. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help. Delivering food service. Hey, have you tried the new delivering food service in our area? No, I haven't heard about it. What's special about this one? Well, it's different from the usual food delivery apps. This service partners directly with local restaurants that don't typically offer delivery. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to try some of those restaurants, but they were too far for me to pick up the food myself. Exactly. Now you can enjoy their delicious food in the comfort of your home. The service also ensures that the food stays fresh and arrives quickly. I love supporting local businesses, and this is a great way to do it. How do I place an order? It's simple. You just need to download their app, browse the menus of the participating restaurants, place your order, and they'll take care of the rest. I'm downloading the app right away. Thanks for letting me know about this fantastic delivering food service. You're welcome. Enjoy the culinary delights from our neighborhood's best kept secrets. Wake up call service. I can't seem to wake up on time no matter what I do. Have you considered using a wake-up call service? It might help you get out of bed more easily. A wake-up call service? How does that work? It's straightforward. You provide the service with the time you want to wake up, and they'll call you at that exact moment to ensure you don't oversleep. That sounds interesting, but can't I just set an alarm on my phone? Of course. You can, but sometimes we get so used to our alarms that we hit the snooze button unconsciously. A wake-up call from a real person can be more effective in getting you up and moving. I see your point. Where do I find such a service? There are several apps and websites that offer the service. I can recommend one. 
that I've used before. It's reliable and has a friendly team of wake-up callers. That would be great. I need all the help I can get to become a morning person. Please share the details with me. Sure thing. I'll send you the link right now. I hope this helps you start your day on a more energized note. Thanks a bunch. I'll give it a try starting tomorrow morning. Here's to no more oversleeping. Fee. Can you believe how much they charge for parking in this city? I know, it's ridiculous. How much did you have to pay? I parked in the garage for a few hours and it cost me $20. Wow, that's deep. Did you try looking for street parking? I did, but there wasn't anything available nearby. Yeah, finding a spot on the street can be tough sometimes. Have you thought about using a parking app? What's that? It's an app that lets you reserve a parking spot in advance. Some of them even offer discounted rates. That sounds like a good idea. Do you have any recommendations? I've used Spothero and Parkwiz before and had good experiences with both. You can search for available spots in the area and compare prices. Thanks. I'll definitely check those out. I can't keep spending so much money on parking. I hear you. It can really add up over time. Hopefully one of those apps can help you save some cash. I hope so too. Thanks for the tip. Filling the gas. Excuse me, do you know how to pump gas? I've never done it before. Of course, I can help you out. What kind of car do you have? It's a Honda Civic. Okay, great. First, you'll want to insert your credit card or cash into the payment machine. Follow the instructions on the screen to select your fuel type and enter the amount you want to spend. All right, let me give it a try. Great job. Now you'll want to select the fuel type and remove the nozzle from the pump. Insert the nozzle into the gas tank on your car and make sure it's securely in place. Okay, got it. Next, you'll want to squeeze the handle to start the flow of gas. You can monitor the amount of gas you're pumping on the screen. Well, this is pretty easy. Yep, just make sure you don't overfill the tank. Once you're done, Put the nozzle back on the pump and replace the gas cap on your car. All right, I think I'm all set. Thank you so much for your help. No problem at all. Have a great day. Car Rental Shop Hi, I'm looking to rent a car for a weekend trip. Do you have any options available? Yes, we have a variety of cars available for rental. What type of car were you interested in? I was thinking something compact and fuel efficient. Maybe a sedan or a hatchback. Okay, we have a few options that might work for you. Let me pull up our inventory. Great, thank you. Here are a couple of options in your price range. We have a Toyota Corolla and a Nissan Versa. Both are compact and get great gas mileage. Those both look good. Can you tell me more about the pricing and rental terms? Sure. The rental rate for both cars is $45 a day. We also require a security deposit of $200, which will be refunded when you return the car. We can also offer additional insurance coverage if you're interested. Okay, that all sounds reasonable. And what about the mileage allowance? 
The rental comes with 200 miles per day included. If you exceed that mileage, there will be an additional fee per mile. Got it. I think I'll go with the Toyota Corolla. Can we get started on the paperwork? Absolutely. Let me grab the rental agreement and we can get everything set up for you. Car Beauty Shop Hi there, I'm interested in getting my car detailed. Can you give me some information about your services? Absolutely. We offer a range of detailing packages to fit your needs and budget. Our basic package includes an exterior wash, interior vacuum, and window cleaning. Our more advanced packages include services like waxing, shampooing, and engine cleaning. Okay, that sounds good. How much does the basic package cost? Our basic package starts at $50, but the final price can vary depending on the size of your car and the level of dirt and grime on it. All right, that's within my budget. How long will it take to complete the detailing? The time it takes depends on the package you choose, but most basic packages take around two to three hours. We'll give you an estimated time frame when you drop off your car. Sounds good. Do I need to make an appointment? It's recommended, but not required. We can usually accommodate walk-ins, but making an appointment ensures that we can reserve a time slot for you. Okay, I'll go ahead and make an appointment for next week. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. We look forward to servicing your vehicle. Light check-in. Hey, I can't believe it's finally time for our trip. Did you do the online check-in for our flight? Yes, I took care of it yesterday. I have our boarding passes ready on my phone. Awesome, thanks for doing that. What's the process like at the airport then? We just need to head to the check-in counter to drop off any checked baggage and show our it's along with the boarding passes. They'll give us any necessary info about the gate and departure time. Sounds straightforward. Speaking of baggage, did you weigh our suitcases? I hope we're not over the limit. I did. Both suitcases are within the weight limit. No extra charges there. Great job. And did you print out our travel itinerary and hotel bookings? Yep, they're in a folder in my bag along with all the necessary document. You're on top of things. Just a heads up. I heard some airports can be pretty busy, so we should get there with some extra time. Agreed. I was thinking we should aim to arrive around two hours before our flight. Better safe than stressed. Absolutely. I'm getting a bit nervous, but also excited. It's been a while since we traveled. I feel the same way. It's going to be a great adventure. Let's make sure everything goes smoothly from check-in to takeoff. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for handling the check-in and all the details. No problem. We're in this together. Ready to make some amazing memories. Definitely. Let's do this. Wealth Gap Have you been following the discussions about the growing wealth gap? It's really concerning. Absolutely. It's a major issue. The disparities between the rich and the rest of us seem to be widening every year. It's disheartening to think about how some people have unimaginable wealth while others struggle to make ends meet. And it's not just about individual income. The systemic factors that contribute to this gap, like unequal access to education and opportunities, are deeply troubling. Right. Education is supposed to be a way to level the playing field, but quality education often comes with a hefty price tag, making it inaccessible for many. Plus, 
the cost of health care and housing is skyrocketing, making it even harder for lower-income families to get ahead. I've heard about initiatives to address this issue, like raising the minimum wage and implementing more progressive taxation. But will it be enough? It's a step in the right direction, but it's a complex problem that requires multifaceted solutions. Policies that promote economic mobility and reduce income inequality need to be a priority. Agreed. It's not just about economic fairness, but also about creating a more stable and cohesive society. Hopefully, with continued awareness and advocacy, we can push for changes that make a real difference and bridge the wealth gap over time. Job hopping. Hey, I heard you're switching jobs again. What's the deal this time? Yeah, I know it's becoming a trend for me, right? Well, the thing is, I've been thinking a lot about my career path and growth. Makes sense, but you've only been at your current job for like a year. What's not working? True, it's not that the job's bad, but I feel like I've learned all I can there. I'm craving new challenges and a chance to diversify my skills. But doesn't frequent job hopping look bad on your resume? Employers might think you're not committed. I considered that, but I make sure each move aligns with my long-term goals. I'm not just jumping for the sake of it. Plus, it's given me exposure to different industries and work. Confirming airline. Hey, I just wanted to double check our flight details for the trip next week. Sure thing. What do you need to confirm? I want to make sure we have the right airline, flight number, and departure time. Got it. We're flying with Skywings Airlines, and the flight number is 123. The departure time is 9.30 a.m. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. And do you remember which terminal we need to go to? Yes, we'll be departing from Terminal 2. I looked it up last week. Great. That's noted. Just making sure we don't end up at the wrong terminal like last time. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a hassle. But we're all set this time. Also, have you checked if we need to do any online check-in or if we can do it at the airport? I've already done our online check-in. I have our boarding passes saved on my phone. Awesome, you're way ahead of me. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem at all. Traveling is smoother when we're prepared. Agreed. With all this confirmed, I'm actually getting excited for the trip now. Me too. It's going to be a great getaway. Let's make sure we get to the airport in good time on the day. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button.
If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.